KNBC Channel 4, Los Angeles. This is NBC. Be there for the fun. Are you going to, are you going to give me a kiss? No. No! <laughs> With videotaped and filmed inserts from practically every place else, get ready to meet some more real people. Byron Allen goes to Las Vegas to attend the arm wrestling championships and challenges the champion. Not too shrewd a move, Byron. In the New Guinea jungles, we found a wonderful young man who shares his music with the natives. Bill Rafferty discovers that the biggest safety hazards today may be the laws warning us about safety hazards. Then Bill shows us a winter sport in Minnesota where daredevil racers dig out, spin out, and flip out, all on solid ice. Sarah Purcell goes to Wichita Falls, Texas for a unique rodeo. Some cowboys get a real kick out of it, while others find it a real drag. Skip Stevenson takes Hobo to Monterey, California, where man's best friend visits old folks' homes to make new friends. And in the Real People Pet Department, Peter Billingsley welcomes the Guppy Breeders Association, where there's definitely something fishy going on. All this and a lot more on Real People. But now, here are the Real People people, our hosts, Sarah Purcell. Stevenson and Hobo the Wonder Dog. Bill Rafferty. And our juvenile journalist, Peter Billingsley. Once again, we present Real People, a salute to the American individual who knows that if at first you don't succeed, you probably won't make it the second time either. You would have been mad enough to kill me. <laughs> you know, uh, you're smarter than you look. <laughs> well, Byron's not the only one who lives dangerously. Bill Rafferty recently met a man who thinks all of us live in unsafe times. I pity you. I pity you. <laughs> There are a lot of Americans these days who believe we have far too many laws, too many regulations, that our society is slowly but surely being regulated to death. In one year, almost 9,000 bills, measures, and resolutions were introduced in both houses of Congress, and over 900 of them became federal laws. Some of those laws rather vague and confusing at that. Dale Loudermilk is an air flight controller who lives near Santa Barbara, California. He is what you call a libertarian. While he believes in a safe and sane society, Dale figures that to try to legislate total safety can easily be taken to a ridiculous extreme. This is a killer bra. It's supported by metal underpinnings. Last year in London, England, a woman wearing a bra similar to this one was struck by lightning and died. I say down with bras. How many out there are joggers? Do you realize that you are a jogging junkie? The body creates a chemical known as endorphin, and when you jog, you feel good because you are high. I used to be a jogging junkie, and I had a three-mile-a-day habit, but I have kicked it. I suggest you do the same. Last and certainly least, we have the deadly banana and the banana peel. For thousands of years, civilization has faced this threat. The only solution, as I see it, is to require a warning label placed on all bananas to warn the consumer that this represents a potential for slippage. Dale Loudermilk heads an organization called Not Safe. That stands for National Organization Taunting Safety and Fairness Everywhere. Dale formed the group in 1979 and now boasts over 800 members. Their tongue-in-cheek motto, protecting everyone from everything at any cost. That is taken basically from the government's attitude. Government tends to treat us like idiots and children. And when we're treated like idiots and children, we tend to act that way. Dale's scrapbook is full of examples of what he says are too much safety. 
things like weed pulling by hand banned in San Francisco, or beware the teddy bear. His list goes on and on. It's interesting to note that according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission list of dangerous items, the most dangerous thing in America are stairs and steps, with 683,000 people a year injured. The not safe solution is to require all buildings, including skyscrapers and apartment buildings, be constructed at a single ground floor level. We're introducing legislation to abolish all stairs. What do you think? No, I don't think they ought to abolish stairs. Well, I think most accidents happen when you walk down the stairs, so they should abolish all the stairs that go down. <laughs> Number two on the list, bicycles, 514,000 people a year injured. The solution, of course, is to require seat belts and airbags for all bicycles. This guy wants to introduce legislation making it mandatory that all bicycles have seat belts and airbags. I think he kind of mixed up there. Yeah, when, he, when he go one like that, I like to see him ride it. Number three on the list, good old American baseball. With 446,000 people each year injured, the solution is not to ban baseball, but to require the spectators to wear the catcher's mask. <laughs> really? Final safety suggestion. If you're interested in total safety, stay in bed and get plenty of exercise. <laughs> in your safety than his own. Otherwise, he'd never wear this hat in public, my friend Dale Loudermilk, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 The clock ticks on. And we gotta be gone, but we leave you with good cheer, because we'll be back for another crack. Next Wednesday, see you here. Good night, everybody. Stay tuned for the facts of life as Joe hooks a millionaire. Then our family ties, a preppy pins Mallory, but what does Alex think of him? After that, you'll break up laughing and flip your wig as Alan Funt and Angie Dickinson host Candid Camera then and now. It's a fun-filled hour of hilarious stunts. The facts of life, family ties, and a far-out Candid Camera special. All tonight on NBC. Be there.